Right, I've made all the parts now, and these are the, um, so, well, I call them half triangles really, yeah, for the, the, report, the proportion of the main one. Uh, and this is my uh, twin wall, I'm using 10 mil, 10 mil twin wall here. <coughs> what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mark these out and cut them, I'm going to mark them about uh, a good inch bigger, 25 mils bigger than, um, than the actual pattern. Uh, actual frame um, and then we'll stick that on and trim that off perfectly when we're finished. I'll do that now. Right that's our um, base, these are all the base triangles. Um, you can see I've made a pile of left hand and a pile of right hand. Uh, at, at, at this point once you've mixed them up to mark all your um, twin wall out, stick them back in a pile and when you stick them back check them. Uh, this one is all sloping down, so that's the right way up. That one's sloping down the right way up, and this one's upside down. Um, go check both of them, uh, or all of you, all of these to make sure, because I've actually made one wrong. Uh, this one I made wrong. So when you check them, it's an idea to um, mix them all up, and then... Um, put them all back in the right heaps and that way you've got to check everything to make sure they're right. I've got that the right way and this is the cut so I've got that the right way that's the upside down but I put this one upside down as well that's wrong uh, so I'm going to change, whop that out and change that now. Right this is the one I've made wrong uh, it can happen to anybody this one's upside down the cut is the right way up because that's always the opposite and this one is the right way up but it should be upside down so I'm going to whip it off it's not a massive problem, it's just to take care of taking the screws out. I thought I'd keep this in the video because uh, to show it can happen to anybody. There we go, we'll pop that off uh, and that will go back on that way up. Let's get a new bit though. Eh? Oh yes. Just got to cut this end. Now, uh, normally all these are all pre-cut on the on the saw, but I, because I've messed this one up, I haven't got a spare bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use the pattern as a guide. So before you, the lesson here is, before you go on to cover your dome or um, do the next step, always check, check your measurements, um, check that everything's the, right, the way around that it should be, uh, that you've got the right number of left and the right number of right uh, before you press on, because obviously once it's covered, it's a lot harder to uh, put things right. Side face because if you put it on the wrong face, uh, you're going to cause a massive load of problems. So check all your triangles. Uh, we put it on the outside face is the one with the thick 
piece of wood. We know that that's an opposite, so we ignore that that's a thin bit, and these are three bit, um, two thick bits. Right, got some uh, double-sided foam tape. What we're going to do is, we're going to stick this right up close to the edge. Yes, you guessed it, we're going to stick the frame on. And there's no reason why you couldn't um, screw it on. Lots of people uh, would screw it on and count things, but uh, it's, there's a disadvantage in that because um, you're puncturing the material, obviously, and uh, you've got to reseal and, and fit screws. And also, uh, a screw, if you put screws every six inches, um, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You could put 15 screws in each frame, which is a lot of screws. Uh, I think it's cheaper to, to, to do it just with the uh, tape. And if, uh, if you have a screw in, um, obviously between the screws isn't fixed, so it can sometimes it can lift or rattle uh, with the tape. It's stuck all the way along. And then just trim the ends like that. Now we could put tape um, along these edges as well. I think I will actually. I'll put it right in the middle uh, because that will that'll hold down the centre of the plastic. Uh, right, and then just do the whole lot like that. Right, uh, with the tape stuck on. I'll just show you, quickly show you the uh, how we cover. This is um, all tape and no screws. This one you could just as easily use screws, but I, I prefer tape. This is awkward trying to peel off um, all this stuff. Right, so we're I'm lining up against the backboard so that I've got something to work against because it can be a bit tricky. Um, right. the uh, Backing tape are off. Set it and we're just going to rest it against this piece of wood at the back so that it stays square and level. And then we're going to make sure that we lie it on nice and squarely like that. This is the uh, saw setup. Um, 
what I've got is I've got a piece of wood that's set back from the blade that allows the plastic to stick under and this piece of plywood that sticks out. If I go down here you can see that uh, the plywood, I'll, I'll get a bit of uh, wood. There we go. Let's set like that. This piece of wood stops the wood getting cut, but it cuts off all the um, plastic. And that leaves us like that, with the plastic cut off at an angle, so that that will fit neatly together. <laughs> 